reminded of that beautiful song that says, the most wonderful time of the year is Christmas. I could see excitement on people's faces. I could see joy on people's faces. I could see celebration all around. Lots of decoration, lots of shopping taking place. So today, we'll be singing lots of Christmas carols. But as we sing, I want you to think about the words of the song. Because from the words of the song, of the Christmas carols, we can find the true meaning of Christmas. And also, I want you to use the chat functionality in YouTube to tell us your own understanding of what Christmas means to you. Let's be interactive today. Let's us sing. Let us sing with gusto. Let's have a wonderful carol service. And I pray that as you sing, God will bless you.
is heaven adored. Christ the everlasting Lord. Laid in time, behold he come. Offspring of a virgin's womb. Veiled in flesh the Godhead see. Hail the incarnate deity. Please as man with man to dwell.
What does Christmas mean to you? It's family. Uh, Christmas means to me spending time with family. It's all about giving. Time to spend with family. Christmas means I'm sending every single bit of grace.
In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph went out from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Lord blessed the reading of his word.
and his gospel is peace. Chains shall be break for the slave is a brother, and in his name all oppression shall cease. Time, family time that we spend together, exchange gifts. But remember the love of Christ in our lives. The sacrifice, he, uh, how he sacrificed himself for us to save us all, and to uh, ask for forgiveness of our sins, and just celebrate together. Really. Uh, well, to me, it's family. This is my boyfriend, so to me, it's my boyfriend as well. Very simple. Christmas is about family, spending time together and thinking about the ones that are not there anymore. And just enjoying, enjoying your time, time together. And it's all about who's around the tree, not what's around the tree. Absolutely. King 
was born today.
for me, Christmas is more than the drinks, the food, the gifts, the decorations, and spending time with family, albeit all may be good. Christmas for me is when God demonstrated his love for us. He sent his only begotten son, and that began the process of God's redemptive agenda. And so that's why I celebrate Christmas, because God came and became human so that it can be the perfect sacrifice that will take away the sins of the world. Such love, such sacrifice for me is what remembering during this Christmas period. So as we enjoy time with family, as we open our presents, let's remember the true meaning of Christmas.
I just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I want to just bless the Lord for a wonderful, wonderful carol service. I want to bless the Lord for the choir. And I trust that you did join in as you were told from the beginning. I just want to believe that you had a smile on your face. I, be, I trust that uh, you turned to the person next to you if you had company. And you said to them, this is the season of goodwill towards all men and women. I trust that when we sang Ding Dong Married on High, you sang it and you sang it so well. Choir, the Lord richly bless you. We are very much pleased. And also, for those who have come to fellowship with us, we say the Lord richly bless you. Let me just give you a special invitation, invitation for our Christmas uh, Day service. We're going to meet again from 10 to 11, and we're going to have a wonderful time. So I look forward to seeing you on Christmas Day. You don't have to leave your homes. You'll be at home. And I trust that this time you wake up on time. And maybe put on one of your best dresses and see, sit down there, hey, and take pictures of yourself so that you can show to your posterity, hey, this was the way we celebrated Christmas. I am glad, Lord, for your grace and your mercies, which has brought us this far. We say be blessed and be glorified. Thank you, Jesus. May our lives exalt you. We're going to close now. As we, I normally say, why don't you stand with me and let us say our proclamation together. I'm going to say it quietly, sweetly, because it's a season of goodwill towards all men, if I can indeed. I always say that we make this declaration because we believe in it and because we have got an aim in mind. Very soon, by the message of God, we will come back to in-person service. So then, let's do our declaration. If you can, please stand with me. 
Remember that you are worshiping God. And if you forget that, then perhaps uh, uh, you should be yearning for in-person service. Because when you are in the service, at least you have a sense, uh, you can have a sense of uh, 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 participation. So let's say a declaration together with a smile on your face. You got somebody, somebody next to you, smile at them, hold your hands. If, you, if, if, if you, it's allowed for you to hold your hands, and let's say together. The presence of God will be with me and mine as a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. And I will drink from the rivers of the delights of my God. Oh, I say, may you drink from the rivers of the delights of your God. May that be a reality for you. I will know the real contentment of the Lord in all my ways and all his ramifications. May you know exactly what it means to be contented, to know contentment in the Lord. I am looking forward to be back to in-person service, stronger and fitter for the master's use and for his glory. And to that I say, amen. Now let us do the, the doxology that comes in Revelations 1, 5, 8, 6. Oh, don't you just love it? To him who loved us and washed out from our, from our sins in his own blood and has made us kings and priests to his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. And all of God's people said, Amen. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. And I say to you, by this you are marked with the name and with the blood of Jesus. Shalom, shalom, shalom. A citizen of goodwill towards all men. The Lord bless you richly. Amen. Thank you for listening to God's Word. We are the Apostolic Church All Nation Centre in Kennington, London. Find us at Tyres Terrace, Kennington, London, SE11 5LY. Our telephone number is 0207 820 On the web, we are at www.apostolic-anc.org. All Nation Centre, reaching out to you in practical and caring ways.